This is the latest footage of Alanin from August 8th. As you can see, the tail is getting very, very noticeable. If that coma is the size of Jupiter, then that tail is probably at least a million miles long. Taking a minute now to call out either Leonid Alanin or whoever his source is on this. Um, but at the bottom here he says that uh, when Alanin is at perihelion we will not be able to observe it from Earth and we will need other uh, observation equipment in order to see it. And we believe that that is an error. He's really talking about the 26th or the 27th when it comes directly between the Earth and the Sun. There's absolutely no reason why we shouldn't be able to see it here. The blue dot with a tail pointed away from the Sun, the Earth, that green dot to the right of it on the third orbit out. Just after sunset, we should be seeing it, you know, on September 11th up perihelion, you know, just diving down the horizon just after the Sun. Now, what we think he means is when Elenin comes directly in between the Earth and the Sun, it would be like you would have to look directly at the sun in order to see it. Although if the tail is that long, I think we may still be able to have some kind of visual uh, impairment of the sun or whatever. Getting back to this, have you noticed that if you go outside, you still can't really see Elenin? I mean, look how big it is. That's you know the size of Jupiter and it's a million miles long. Look where it is right now. It's inside of Earth's orbit not that far away I have to admit there's something a little fishy about this I don't want to pull the trigger and say this is full-blown whatever but I feel like we should be able to see it based on this and based on the recordings heads up everybody keep watching be safe